In this lecture, we're going to look at using the split pane within Ionic. So this allows us to have a menu as the screen size gets bigger. So for example, on desktops and tablets, and overall, it increases the flexibility of our UI. So let's get started by making a new project. And I've made mine based on the side menu template, hence why I'm in app.html. Now inside of app.html, I'm going to take all this content and indent it once. And the reason I'm indenting it is because I'm adding an ion dash split dash pane tag. And as you might imagine, this acts as a wrapper over both our side menu and our navigation. We've saved our file and you'll notice that the screen has now gone white and you're probably wondering why that is. Well, that's because we haven't defined a main content. We need to tell Ionic what our actual content is with the main directive. So when we add main to our Ion nav, we save the file and everything goes back to normal. So let's now make our application to be much longer. So it takes up the majority of the screen. And as you can see, when we select an item, the main content here on the right gets updated. Now that automatically happens, as you can see, when we move from 768 pixels and above. But what I want to do is change that so it happens at a smaller distance. So on our ion split pane, we can add the when attribute and we can tell Ionic when the minimum width is 500 pixels. And this will activate the split pane functionality when the viewport is at least 500 pixels. So let's try it again. And as we move this further afield, you can see that that now gives us the split pane at a smaller distance than before. You can also take advantage of some predefined media queries, for example, extra small, and that's the width of zero pixels. This effectively always would display the split pane no matter what. As you can see, it doesn't really work very well on a smaller device screen. We also have SM and that's for small and it's 576 pixels and above. We have a medium for MD and that's 768 pixels and above and that's simply the default and also larger ones for LG and XL and that takes up 992 pixels and 1200 pixels respectively. We aren't simply limited to passing through pixel values. What we can do is pass an input into the when attribute. And that attribute can be a Boolean. So if we go to app component.ts and we make a variable named should show pain and we'll equal that to false. And instead of saying Excel, we can say when should show pain. And now no matter how big we make our window, the side pane will never appear. So you can do this conditionally depending on the functionality of your app. Perhaps you want to let somebody set this or you want to disable it in certain occasions. So that's how we use the side pane within Ionic.